Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the colour wheel and more specifically how to make your own. Um, so I've got here an example of um, a colour wheel that I bought. Um, you can see all the colours around the outside and then a handy kind of wheel in the centre here that kind of shows, for example, if you pick red and you add blue, you get purple. So it shows you um, a nice easy way of um, comparing the colours. Um, what happens if you add white? What happens if you add black? All kinds of things like that. So it's really useful to have a colour wheel, but um, it's even easier to understand. Um, and I think you get a better... Um, yeah, better understanding really of the colours and their relationship to each other if you make your own. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I've started off with, um, this is my, my sketchbook, my, um, my Canson Mixed Media XL 7x10. So I've drawn a circle in here, to be perfectly honest, I've cheated a little bit because I drew around this colour wheel and um used the um the lines on there as a guide to mark off my segments um on the wheel so this is what you need to start off by doing draw your circle mark off the segments and then we're going to be uh painting it uh with the colors great so i've just uh grabbed my brushes my paints um i should say actually before i go any further that um We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve segments. I didn't mention that. I just, you know, casually said divide it into segments, but didn't say how many. Um, so yeah, so you need twelve. Um, so let's start by putting out the colours. I have got here cadmium red hue, cadmium yellow hue, and ultramar ultramarine. Um, it's worth bearing in mind that the colours that you use, or should I say, the exact types of red or yellow or blue that you use will affect the colour mixes. So certain colours have, um, certain blues for example, have a slightly uh, red tone, some have a green tone, and they will affect the way that the colours um, come out, your colour mixes. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit of each of this, these three colours on my piece of paper here which is going to be my makeshift palette. Oops, that's a lot of blue. Okay, so let's start with the red. So I'm just going to get a little bit of water on my brush, getting a bit of red. And at the top here, this is going to be the red segment. Easy for me to say. Okay, so just filling that one in. I think I've picked kind of a bit of a big brush here, but it's fine. doesn't matter if it's perfect. So that's the red one. So now I'm going to pop the yellow and the blue in their positions on the wheel using a different brush to try and keep the colour mix as clean as possible. So you need to count around, you need to leave three gaps and then put the yellow here. So fill out the yellow and then last one. Another three spaces around from the yellow, the blue goes here. Great. So those are the first colours down. Those are the uh, primary colours, red, yellow and blue. So the next thing we need to do now then is to create the secondary colours. So you get equal amounts of two of the primary colours. This is where it gets a bit complicated with all my brushes. <laughs> so mix that together. I think, honestly, I had a little bit more of the red, so I'll pop a bit more of that there. Mix it up, and this is your orange. So the orange goes in the middle just between the red and the yellow. So that's that in there. 
Then now to fill in these two either side, we add equal amounts of this colour and the primary colour. So, for example, to fill this one in here, which is going to be the yellow-orange colour, we have equal amounts of the orange and the yellow. So pop a bit more yellow in here. Like that. So it should feel like it's exactly between the two, um, the two colours that you've got there. Um, so again, then to do the colour, the, the red orange in between the red and the orange, we add a bit more red to this orange. A bit more red again. And then just fill that in. So I'm not doing this particularly carefully. You could really take your time and fill inside um, each segment nicely, you know, staying inside the lines, whatever, but just doing it quickly to show you. So that's, I'm going to pop my red brush down for now so I don't get myself confused here. Let's move on to do the blue and the yellow. So blue and yellow together, the two primary colours mixed to make the secondary colour of green. So we're going to be mixing a green to put in here. I need a bit more yellow actually before I go any further. Okay. So get some yellow and then an equal amount of blue and then mix those up. I'm going to use my yellow brush for this now because I won't need to go back into the yellow for anything else. So, okay, there's the green. It's not the brightest green because I'm using ultramarine blue and that doesn't make quite such a nice green, not such a vibrant one as something like phthalo blue might because it has that red undertone that I mentioned earlier on. So there's the green. Now to make the colour that's a mixture of the green and the yellow, the yellow green, which will go here, grab a little bit more of the yellow, mix it into that colour. So you can kind of see how this works, just working your way around the wheel and add a bit more yellow. So it just feels a bit too green still. Cool. There we are. So there's the yellow green. And then to fill in this segment here, it's a mixture of the blue and the green. So grab a bit more blue, mix it in, makes this really nice dark, dark green. So a nice blue green. So the last part we have to do now is this segment here, or these segments, should I say. So they're a mixture of the red and the blue. So, okay, red and blue together. A bit more red. And then fill in this purple segment here. The next thing we want to do is add a bit more red to make the the red purple the kind of uh, sort of magenta colour, and then go back into the blue. Add a bit more there. to make the blue purple. So there you go. So, I mean, you can see here, I've done this, you know, really, really quickly, but you can see really well 
the relation uh, relationship between the colours. Um, so we started off with our red, our yellow, and our blue. And we were able to mix all these colours um, from those three colours. And definitely, if you've got different um, reds, blues and yellows available to you, um, you know, in your stash, I would definitely try um, this exercise with different um, different types of blues, reds and yellows, if that's available to you, just because you can really see then um, what I'm talking about with the, the sort of the difference between the undertones of the colours. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.